Helmets. Well, we've decided to do helmets first of all for a simple reason is that on the top of your head and they are compulsory. You have to wear them. And if you've got any sense about you, you'd choose to wear one anyway for no other reason but to keep your ears warm in the winter. There are loads of different types of helmets at loads of different prices from around 30 quid right the way up to several hundred pounds depending on your pocket, how deep it is. It is worth spending as much money as you can afford. You do get what you pay for. If not for in case of an incident when you fall off, certainly a quieter helmet, a more comfortable helmet with a fancy paint job will obviously cost you more than a horrible fit helmet that isn't so comfortable. Simple in it. Types of helmets, there are loads. Open face helmets such as this, with a visor like that. Motocross helmets such as this, like that. Washable liners, keeps it nice and tidy when you get dirty and grotty. And very posy. Even flip up front type helmets such as this nowadays, where you press a button and up comes the front like that. And you can even make this one into a third style helmet. So you've got a full face, a lift up front, and you can actually now put a peak on the front of it by removing this and have a visor on it. So it's three styles of helmets all in one, very clever. But the most traditional and the most common and the most regularly bought helmet would indeed be your regular full face helmet, just like that. The fit is the main factor. Once you've established the area of sizing you are, medium, small, whatever you are, you try them on and one will suit you better than others. And that is a very, very important thing. Try loads, spend hours and try loads. An essential thing when you're buying your crash helmet is that it is in fact approved. There are two approvals, one of the past and one of the present. The past approval was when you saw a BSI a badge on the back of the helmet. That's the blue badge in this case on here, and it has numbers on it representing the BSI approval. In this case, 6658 Type A. And sometimes you can get them with a gold ACU badge, which allows you to go racing with it. But since this year, you now can buy a helmet that is Euro approved and the badging's slightly different. You can still get the crash helmet with its racing approval badge, but you've got to look for a label, in this case, sewn on the inside. And that'll then indicate ECE approval and it's 2205. It's got to have the last bit, the 05. There are some crash helmets knocking around that have actually got 04 approval in it. That isn't acceptable. This is the highest level and you've got to meet that criteria. Now, uh, sort of a sore subject with us all at the moment and that is black visors, dark visors. So you can at least see where you're going on those bright sunny days. Well, it's illegal to wear one. We all know this, but there is a way around it and that is by buying one of these, the Laser Revolution helmet. Now, apart from the fact that it's a lift up front helmet and it's got lots of features, there is one unique thing about it. And that is this, a black visor that is built into it. And that helmet is E approved. You can wear it legally with or without the internal black visor. So that gets you around the law and you can still see where you're going. So to try and summarize, to make your buying of a crash helmet nice and easy. First of all, spend as much money as you can afford and maybe add to it because it's the most crucial part of your biking kit, the crash helmet. It's like buying an insurance policy. You one day may need it. You hope, keep your legs, fingers crossed that you never do, but you never, do, never know, it might happen. The helmet may indeed get put into practice and you'll come away with a headache rather than a major injury. And that's why it's worth every penny of spending good hard earned on a crash helmet. Now then, all I've got to do is choose which one I fancy. I suppose I could try them all.